At the end of World War I, many countries felt cheated, especially Germany. The Treaty of Versailles of 1919 forced Germany to pay $33 billion of reparations or import, manufacture, or trade arsenal and limit their army. They cannot have an air force. Because of what was taken, they had entered an economic depression, hyperinflation, and humiliation. They were given the complete blame for the war. It would not be long until Germany retaliated. By 1939, World War II had begun, and Hitler was leading Germany. He began by trying to take over Poland by testing out his new Blitzkrieg, also known as the Lightning War. These engines were given to Hitler to power his new tanks. The engines would make his tanks far more advanced than Germany's enemies. They would come to to be known as the infamous Panzers. Supposedly, Hitler had taken strategies from a British and a French officer. It suggested the use of tanks to escort his infantry into the cities. But Hitler saw more potential for his panzers and decided to use his infantry to escort his panzers instead. With these ideas, the German army, Wehrmacht, was infatuable. It set up for Poland in September and was seized and annexed in only four weeks. The Wehrmacht had never wavered and needed only a few repairs afterwards. Hitler would soon be able to take over half of Europe. The Netherlands, Belgium, and Luxembourg to distract the Allies while he targeted Arden. They quickly slid through the Maginot Line, which got them to France's coast in just ten where days. Where more of Germany's troops would join. Germany had 141 divisions, 2,445 tanks, 7,378 artilleries, 5,638 aircrafts, and a 3.35 million strong infantry. And geographical advantages, but they still had the World War I mentality. Alarm should have went off. Germany had annexed Poland in only four weeks. Two days in, Air Force completely wiped out. Shouldn't someone have wondered how Germany had kind of power and speed? It should have occurred to them that Germany had advanced weaponry. The Allies believed that they were superior. Yet they had invested in artillery, men, and blockades. While Hitler was focused on tanks and dive bombers. If the Allies had been more strategic, cautious, and aware, they might have won in the beginning. But they weren't ready by the time Poland had fallen. So it was too late. Alarm should have went off. Germany had annexed Poland in only four weeks. Two days in, Air Force completely wiped out. Shouldn't someone have wondered how Germany had kind of power and speed? It should have occurred to them that Germany had advanced weaponry. The Allies believed that they were superior, while Hitler was focused on tanks and dive bombers. If the Allies had been more strategic, cautious, and aware, they might have won in the beginning. But they weren't ready by the time Poland had fallen, while so Hitler was too focused on tanks and dive bombers. If the Allies had been more strategic, cautious, and aware, they might have won in the beginning. But they weren't ready by the time Poland had fallen. In the so of September of 1939, many countries had surrendered to Germany, including Norway, Romania, Hungary, Finland, Latvia, Yugoslavia, Albania, Greece, Tunisia, Algeria, Lithuania, Estonia, and Denmark. And to Hitler's satisfaction, He had gotten France to surrender in a month and 12.